49, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. So we don't we don't have these trees. Are you counting all the rounds? Even though they die, it's how they regenerate. This tree has sealed records. Well, when a fire goes through, it's like that right there. When a fire goes through the crowns of the trees, it only lasts for about 45 seconds. And that's just enough time to heat the cones up to, to, to dissolve the resin. It's sealed with like a resin glue. And it melts the resin, and then the cones open, and the seeds fall down after the fire, and they give you this. See, so you get, you get, there's all the dead tree. This was a pure jack pine forest. Or, those little things, yeah, so the like cones have. Populated. Yeah, yeah. Here they are. This is all natural regeneration, and it produces the same forest that was there before. And there's at an earlier stage, and you can see the dead trees on the ground. So the trees die and they fall over, but before they fall into the ground, they help stabilize the soil. They provide habitat for birds and insects, and it's a whole ecological process. It breaks the wind, and these trees, and the dead trees, actually protect the young trees from the hot sunshine. The sun is moving across the sky, so these trees provide shade for the new seedlings, and then gradually the new seedlings are more established, and they can continue to thrive and grow and become the new forest. Is that the only tree that does that? No, it's not. Um, it's the only one with the, the, where the cones are totally sealed with the resin, but the black spruce, which is common right across Canada, also does it. If it's, there are other trees, um, aspen and birch, they have a different strategy. They grow from buds that are in the dead tree. So if it was a birch tree, it grows from the base of, when the tree is killed by the fire, you'll see shoots coming out from the side of the base. And they can also regenerate the seeds, they do it both ways. And the same with aspen. Aspen can grow from the roots, the dead roots, and they can also seed in for seeds. I did not know that about trees. I the thought jack they all fell down. No, well, the jack pine only regenerates from seeds, so, and the same things, and the same with white pine. So the pine trees all regenerate just from seeds. I counted 200. Every tree has a different strategy for surviving because the oil forest is a lot of fire. And without, we need the fire to regenerate them, but too much fire is bad for us too. So it's, it's that balance between the, um, the, the proper ecology, but also safety for people who live there. But the trees will be okay. But, well, the trees will be killed in this case, but they will come back to the new yeah, one. Back like, to the new one. So this tree was not actually killed by the fire. It always survived for each fire. But we got permission to cut it down. That so we got to cut it down in 1978. So you guys killed one tree. To show you. A tree oh my that was surviving from after fires. <laughs> well, you know what? There are many thousands of trees where this one came from. So, yeah, we took, we took one tree. Poor tree. Has oxygen I breathe. I don't breathe anymore because it's gone. I counted 234. See, you're very close. I'm not. That's what I know. It's 241. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Unless, like, I just. Okay, so. Seven, six, five, four. Seventy eight. Four. Take away. Seventeen. Thirty one. Oh, two hundred and forty seven. You know, what's really neat is that when the tree is alive, you can figure out its age also. And that, the way we do that is we have a little core that's about a quarter inch in diameter, and you turn it in and you take a core out of the tree, and then you can dye it, and you can see all the rings. If you, so if you were to bore through this tree with a core, right to the center of the tree, and you pull that core out, it doesn't kill the tree, but then you can count the rings on it. We've seen the cores today. <laughs> there is a...
went to another workshop <laughs> and they showed us. And that's how they ate it. That's how they get the age of four sometimes. This is a tree cookie, right? Exactly. Very good. And what's this? Yeah, something like this. It's called a fire scar or a, or a cat face. <laughs> well, because some of them look like cats' faces, they thought that cats, because a cat gets wrinkles when it smiles. It's a lot of, you know, the building, there's a whole bunch of wrinkles. My name is, I'm Tim Lynham, I'm a forest fire research project leader here with Natural Resources Canada. Oh, wonderful. And, and tonight's is all about sharing the, the resource of science with them. With the young people. We've had lots of good questions here from the students. They're just really excited about the whole display. It's great. Right. Well, thank you. Is this your first time being involved with the camp? This is the first time that I've met this group. Yeah, I have not. I didn't know about the camp at all. And so they asked. They asked us if uh, we have these displays, and they asked us if we could um, put them together again for the camp. And uh, so it was a good opportunity because we don't get a lot of activity in the summertime. That's so right. It's good having yeah. a camp group come through. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you.